Hello everyone, NVIDIA is getting ready to announce their new RTX 50 series of graphics cards at the CES 2025 event on January 6. There are some exciting details about the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 cards that might interest you. Let's break it down. First up, the RTX 5090 is expected to be 40 to 50% faster than the current top performing card, the RTX 4090, which is already impressive. What does that mean? It means this card is going to make everything run smoother and faster, especially for things like ray tracing, that's the technology that makes games and videos look more realistic by adding lifelike lighting effects. The RTX 5090 is rumored to have 32 gigabytes of memory, called VRAM, which is a lot and will be great for tasks that need tons of memory, like high-quality games or big creative projects. Now, let's talk about the price. While nothing is confirmed yet, we're expecting this powerful card to be priced around $2,300, with some guesses putting it up to $2,600 after taxes. That's a hefty price tag, but with the best performance, it might be worth it. Next, let's talk about the RTX 5080. This one's not as powerful as the 5090, but it's still really fast. People are expecting this card to be around 30% faster than the previous top card, the RTX 4080. The RTX 5080 could be a great option for gamers who still want amazing graphics. 16 gigabytes of vram is expected which should be more than enough for most gamers in terms of price the rtx 5080 is likely to cost around 1350 dollars which might drop to around 1200 dollars a lot of people were hoping it would be closer to 999 dollars so this might be a bit of a disappointment for those looking for something more budget friendly also something is exciting happening in the world of laptops the RTX 5060, which is a more affordable option, could also get a release soon. This card might offer a 33% performance boost over the RTX 4060 laptop version, and we could see it too at CES 2025. Now, here's the big question, is it all worth the price? Well, for people who need the very best for high-end gaming or creative work, the RTX 5090's $2,300 price tag could be seen as worth it, especially since there's very little competition for cards like this right now. But the RTX 5080 might be a harder sell, with its price of around $1,200. Many were hoping it would be cheaper, making it a tough choice for people looking for mid-range cards. In the end, Nvidia's new cards will likely be powerful enough for gamers and professionals alike, but the RTX 5090's price is likely to be justifiable for gamers who need the best, while the RTX 5080 might be a little expensive for what you get unless the performance lives up to the hype. So, are you excited about these new graphics cards? Would you go for the power of the RTX 5090 or the mid-range RTX 5080? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for all the latest updates on these new GPUs. Thanks for watching.